Number 75, Integrated Concepts. A flashing lamp in a Christmas earring is based on an RC discharge of a capacitor through its resistance. The effective duration of the flash is 0.25 seconds, during which it produces an average of 0.5 watts from an average 3 volts. Letter A, what energy does it dissipate? So this is actually fairly straightforward. They give us the average power, and they tell us the duration over which that power is being... Um, you know, durated? Is that a word? I don't think so. Anyway, uh, if we know the power and we want to find the energy and we know time, we know that the power formula is just simply the, a rate of energy transfer, right? So it's energy over time. So in other words, solving this for energy, right? You're going to get that E is equal to uh, power times time. And if you just now take the power of 0.5 watts, multiply it by the time in seconds, we have the appropriate units. All you need to do then is just throw that on into the calculator. So half basically of, I don't even, really, hopefully we don't need that here, but the uh, half of 0.25 is going to be uh, 1.125. All right. And uh, let's see, how many sig figs? Sure, three, right? And that's going to be in joules. Okay, so that's the energy. Number uh, or letter B, letter B. How much charge moves through the lamp? Okay, so we can, we remember, we, we know two things here. We know that the power is going to be equal to the current multiplied by the voltage. And we also know uh, that the current, okay, the current is equal to the amount of charge per time, right? The change in the charge per the change in time, whatever. So if I want to solve for charge, uh, I'm going to solve that formula here for charge. That means that charge will equal the current multiplied by the time. And then I realize I have another relationship here that relates power and voltage. And the reason why I'm going to do a substitution is because they give me voltage and power. So solving this equation then for uh, I, right? Let me just bring this down there. Solving that for I, it's going to be that the current will equal the power over the voltage, right? All I did was just some algebra. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take now this piece right here because that's equal to the current, and I'm going to just pop it on in. So we're now going to have that the charge is going to be equal to the power over the voltage multiplied then by the time. So the power in the problem is going to be 0.5 watts. The voltage is 3 volts. And then you're going to multiply it by the time of point, multiply that by 0 0.25. All right. So it's going to be 0.5 over 3 times 0.25. And we come up with a value here that the charge is going to be 0 0.0417, I guess, right? And that is going to be in coulombs. Coulombs. All right, that takes care of that. Uh, let me just make the box a little nicer. Cool. Now, letter C. All right, so let's see what we got now. So what do we got? It says find the capacitance. Okay, so we have to find the capacitance. So remember that the uh, remember the formula for capacitance, right? And that we can relate that to charge. The charge here on a capacitor is going to be equal to the capacitance multiplied by the voltage. And therefore, to solve this for capacitance, just simply divide the voltage out on both sides. In other words, that's going to mean that the capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the voltage. And therefore, you found the charge just prior. And then you divide it by the voltage of 3. So the capacitance here is going to be, let's see, 0 0.0417 divided by, actually, I'm going to use that exact answer from before, divide that by 3. And here the capacitance is going to be 0 0.0139, I guess, farads. And that's now the, that's now the value of the capacitance. Okay, and then last but not least, it says, what is the resistance of the lamp, right? So now you can do, I guess I'll put this just in a different color. I'm going to do letter D over here. Okay, so we can do this in a couple of ways. I mean, we can use Ohm's law if you like, right? Resistance. So what is Ohm? I mean, it depends on how you how you remember, right, the formula. I like to think of it as V. -er. V is equal to IR. To solve that for then resistance, just simply divide the current from both sides, and therefore the resistance will be equal to V over I. 
and now you just have to plug in. So the uh, voltage here is going to be three, as they told us. The current is going to be, well, we can solve for it, right? Or we can just take this value, right? Because remember, we said that current is going to be equal to P over V, power over voltage, and we could just kind of plug that on in, right? So, and then you can simplify it if you wanted, um, but I'm running out of space. So one second. Let me just move some of this work up. Oh, that's going to overlap now. Uh oh. So this is going to be power. I'm sure you're thrilled at this video. Uh, so this is going to be the power over the voltage. And then you can plug in the values. Power was 0.5. The voltage was 3. So basically this formula, right? Another formula for resistance that you know is actually V squared over what? Over P, right? Over the power. Um, so you can also use that formula as well. All right. But anyway, calculating this. So this is going to be 3 divided by 0.5 divided by 3. And that's going to work out to 18. 18 ohms. I guess 18.0 with sig figs, right? Ohms. And that's it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope this helps. If it did, like, subscribe, tell your classmates, and we will see you soon. Take care.